live, it is not a recording. And just to prove it, uh, in the last uh, 45 minutes, Liverpool have just beaten one of Wolves players. And it is at the time of shooting, it has just gone 20 minutes to 11. Okay. Now today, you know, well yesterday I did a video on um, what you call how to prevent and reduce your risk of a knife attack given the Sarah Everard case. Today I'm going to do another video on how to have a safe night out. Now I'm a personal tra self defence instructor, I said personal trainer, I'm also a self defence instructor. And if you speak to any member of my family they'll tell you I drive them up the wall with my security freak nature. Trust me on this. I do drive people up the, road by, uh, up the wall but I make no apology for it. Today I'm going to teach you how to have a safe night out. A very significant number of assaults and crimes occur against people before, during or after a night out. Here I'm going to teach you how to reduce your risk. Now nothing I teach you is 100% guaranteed, it just gives you a better chance. You never know how many crimes against you you might prevent by being careful, but as I said to you yesterday, it only needs to occur once. Okay? I'm going to give you a whole load of information and at the end I'm going to give you a case study of someone who didn't listen to me, which almost ended up in tragic results. Okay, so first things first, if you're going to go on a night out, if you can, start as a group together. The ladies are very good to, about this, the, a lot of them tend to get ready together and then go out together. That's to be commended. Guys, you need to learn from that. Okay, now if you go out together and you choose a, a series of venues that you go into, please try and go down together, either by taxi or in a bus or somehow, something like that. Now here's the thing, your footwear. Ladies, don't try not to go in heels. At some stage, you might need to run, okay? You can't run in stiletto heels, okay? It's basically that simple. If you're gonna go by taxi, please use a licensed taxi. Don't use an Uber for reasons I'm gonna give, give later on, okay? down together as a group make sure you've all got a mobile phone on you and make sure you've got each other's telephone numbers and every so often check on them now one thing that soldiers do in the army which is very good if they go out as a group one person is what you call the designated driver even though you might not be driving and their job is to keep an eye on everyone else that's very important stay sober keep an eye on everyone else make sure they don't get into danger okay now first thing first and what I teach here is applicable to both men and women. First thing is handbags. Ladies, keep your handbag around your neck, not on your shoulder. And please, 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 if you go over a clubbing, don't be putting your, dan your handbag on the floor and dancing around it. It's a very easy way for your handbag to get nicked. Okay, you don't want it. Keep it on. Okay. Now, one thing I do say up, up front, Please, please, please wear gloves when you go out. People go to the bathroom, they don't wash their hands, or it can get very, very unhygienic. And, you know, people then sometimes go and have a portion of chips. Ah! They just, they just, uh, just they're thinking about. Basically, wear gloves, okay? Um, when you come back, get something to eat, but wash your hands. But I'll come on to that in a minute. Okay. Now, before I go any, any further, I'm going to cause great offence. Ladies, if you want the safest place for you to have a night out without being hassled by men is a gay bar. Guys, I apologise for any offence. I sometimes do freelance security in gay bars and we have lots of women who come in for a night out without being hassled by men. But one thing they complain of on the way out, they often say, what a waste. Because they say, all these gorgeous men and not one of them is available. My answer to that is, well they are available, but just not to you. But <laughs> It's a very, very common complaint. If you go to a nightclub, try and make sure it's one that's got loads of CCTV, lots of security, and make sure that, try and make sure it's members only. Members only clubs are much safer because at any time they know the name, address, telephone number, and email address of anyone who attends, and they can print off a, a list um, like that. Makes it easy for the police. Okay, so do try and make sure that happens. Now, if you have a drink, okay, none of this. Don't. Well, first things first. Only buy your own drinks. Don't let anyone else buy a drink for you unless you absolutely trust them. If it's a stranger, don't let anyone buy a drink for you. You never know when they could spike it when you're not looking. You see? 
careful drink up before you get on the dance floor. You don't want to basically leave your drink around anywhere to spike it. Okay, that is very, very important. Okay, now, so we've been talking from talk about drinks, now drugs. Don't take illegal drugs. Illegal Now the thing is, illegal drugs, it's a business. So if you all stop buying them, guess what happens? They go out of business. Great, nothing, very few things will make me happier. So please don't take illegal drugs. Now, keeping an eye on those around you. There are three girls who are very, very dear to me, and they'll tell you that uh, when they go on, go on a night out, I'll say to any lad who gets friendly with them, you upset one of these girls, and I'll hunt you down to the ends of the earth and I'll make it look like, uh, break every bone in your body, make it look like an accident. Sometimes it's gone a little bit far because one of them says, I haven't had a boyfriend in two years. People are too afraid to ask me out given give what you're going to do. Yeah, well, at least she's safe. Now the thing is, every once every so often, text everyone, make sure they're okay. Okay, okay that's, imp that's important. When you come back, okay, well, first things first, let's assume you get a bit lucky, okay, and you meet someone. Keep an eye on that person because if you've got a lady with you and someone's getting too strong, you might need to move them away. I've done security at times where someone's got friendly with a lady, they've got too far, and basically he's got uh, the guy's basically on top of her, hand up her skirt, making her feel very uncomfortable. She can't push him off. I've basically had to come on and yank him off. And the lady's being very grateful for that, okay, because she couldn't push him off. So if someone gets too over familiar with a lady friend of yours, yank him away, get her to safety. Um, taxis. When you leave the club, okay, get all get together and get go home by taxi. Try not to walk home. When you're getting a taxi on the way home, this is important. Don't use an Uber. It is you'll be amazed how easy it is to become an Uber taxi driver. This is just my opinion. It's ridiculously easy. I went through the vetting, through the application process. Didn't even ask me for my driving license or anything like that. Got it almost instantly. It was so easy. Where to become a licensed taxi driver, it's a very strict vetting process, and it's a lot safer. Now, if you get a taxi, important thing: go behind the taxi, take a photograph of the number plate. A good taxi driver will object, and text that number plate to a trusted friend, tell him where you're going. That's important. Good taxi driver won't object. Always go into a taxi where you've got CCTV. The good taxi drivers who I know have CCTV in their taxis and they live stream it on YouTube. That's great. Pay the cabbie up front using a card, therefore both parties can be traced. That's important. Okay. Now what then happens is on the way home, let's assume you've got lucky. Now the thing is, if you've got lucky, okay, you're going to take someone home do get that person's telephone number and text it to a trusted friend I'm, ta I'm taking this person home ladies be safe don't take that person to don't go to that perfect person's house go to your place okay that's for your own safety now this is a little bit gross what i'm about to tell you when you get home okay how to put this without offending anyone the public washrooms of people's genitals are a very unhygienic combination so before you get that person into your bed, both of you get a shower. Okay. When I used to, when I was a medical student, I did a bit of time in genital urinary medicine. We all had to do that. And the number of people who used to come into GU um, with infections, not necessarily STIs, because basically they hadn't washed before sex. Okay. So make sure you have a shower before you you do it. Okay. Always keep a supply of condoms at home. Okay, and if you do come home, when when you come home, do if you had a bit of alcohol to drink, have a pint of water. It goes a long way to prevent a hangover, a long way. And please, 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 when you come home, please do not fry chips or anything like that. You'll be amazed at how many fires are started by students who come out from a night out and start frying chips. Okay, it's not a good idea. The most you should eat is a, is a pre-made sandwiches. Okay, cold sandwiches. Okay, now going back to condoms, very important. You don't want unwanted infections, you don't want unwanted pregnancies. The 
girls who have lived in my house will tell you that I remember once, I digress, I used to have three girls live here and they were going out on a Friday night and how to put this, I was working on Saturday morning so I lucky. I left six sets of towels outside and uh, they obviously knew, knew why, okay, for that reason. But I also left a pair of scissors by each of their pillows and these girls actually did say to their, their bows for the night, you try anything without protection and I'll snip it off. Yeah, you don't want to be doing anything without protection if you are um, if you don't know that person. It's very important. Now guys, never ever get a girl drunk to get her in bed. Technically, that is sexual assault. Technically. Okay. They've sometimes in rape cases they haven't got the guy on rape charge, but they've got one sexual assault because he got her drunk. So don't do it. Okay? Now to protect yourself. We now have smartphones. If that girl consents to sex, get it recorded on your smartphone, okay? The other thing is, ladies, don't consent to sex unless you are stone cold sober, okay? You can't make an, a, a conscious choice unless you are stone cold sober, so don't consent. Guys, do the decent thing. If that girl's had a bit to drink, don't take it back, don't go home with her that night. Wait till she's stone cold sober, okay? And the other thing I'll also mention is, irrespective of what happened to that night out, irrespective of you've washed, you've had a shot, um, used condoms or whatever, get yourself checked out by GU afterwards. Girls actually have a higher risk of meningitis because they um, they live in cramped conditions in halls of residence. That's almost certainly true. But another reason is that People think, oh, that person's hung over in bed, they've just gone on a bit of a bender. So when I used to live with students, what I would, would do is after a night out, I'll tell them in advance that I'm going to check out. I'm going to knock on the door, around about 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm just going to check you okay. One time, when I checked on my housemate, and my housemate had meningitis, and I got my housemate to... Now let me tell you a case study of someone who didn't follow my advice who almost ended up in tragic results. We went to a nightclub and this lady was with us and she got lucky and I said no problem, take him to the spare room. She didn't, she went back to this place. I said don't do this, we, we don't know who he is, you could be in danger. No, 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 she said, all right. Oh, 45 minutes later got a telephone call. This lady was in the bathroom of that house, sat down, back up against the, uh, the door, and says, come and get me. I said, what's the problem? I said, he's got five, um, four of his mates, they want to take it in turns. Said, Where are you? In those days, tracking apps weren't available. Now, luckily she was sitting next to the bin. There was a phone bill, in a phone bill, in the, um, phone bill in the bin. I said, read out the address. So she read it out to me. I made my way down. Now, to get into the house, I had to break a window with a brick. I took a baseball bat with me, let, got through, and basically someone came down. And I gave him a bit of a bit of a pasty. And I said, "Let my friend down, otherwise I'm going to burn this place down." Bit of a Mexican standoff situation, but that's what happened. Got this lady who's very dear to me, come back home into a place of safety. Okay, but that could have been quite nasty. What I've taught you here is a lot of information. Now, what I'd like you to do, I'd like your comments, I'd like you to share this in the hope that this comes into the, into the attention of Prime Minister Boris Johnson and Home Secretary Priti Patel. If you want a fact sheet on all this, just message me and I'll get one out to you. Thank you very much for your time. I'll speak to you soon and stay safe. Bye-bye.